Morning, how are you doing? I'm in Wiltshire today and uh, I'm here on a few reasons so it depends what videos you see. I thought I'd treat you to something really really special. It's a heavy anti-aircraft battery known as Blunston's World War II heavy anti-aircraft battery. And it's in amazing condition because hardly anybody's been and explored this. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's one of the main reasons why I've come across. It took me about two and a bit hours in the car today. Glorious morning. A little bit hazy underfoot, but that's okay. So, there it is. See you on the other side of some history. Blunsdon might be an unassuming village, just shy of Swindon, but it's because of its location that it's what makes what we're about to explore an important lifeline in the defence of Swindon during World War II, that of a heavy anti-aircraft battery. Located on Stubbs Hill, a natural high point, this battery would have been a perfect place to shoot down enemy bombers. Originally, this would have been one of four batteries tasked with the defence of Swindon, but in terms of historical importance, this is the most complete example left. As was common with anti-aircraft gun sights at the time, it would have placed four 3.7 inch heavy anti-aircraft guns attached via a holdfast to a concrete platform, as well as a command post which unfortunately on this site is now a mound of rubble demolished by the farmer in 1999 due to health and safety concerns. And finally, a Bofors 40mm anti-aircraft gun, which is nothing more than a shallow depression in the ground, as well as the domestic area, which is now part of the farm buildings on the other side of the road. The battery was designated a mixed site from 1941, which involved the Auxiliary Territorial Service, which was the Women's British Army, or ATS for short, with their role to basically do everything but fire the gun, from running the command post through to the rangefinders and the predictors. The condition of what's left and the importance this site has in Swindon and Wiltshire's World War II past can't be underestimated, and I hope that by helping document this via video, that this can be a reminder of the hard work and bravery of the men and women who fought in World War II. The overcast day today that we find ourselves in, but do you know what, I'm not complaining because this place really is a unique place on the landscape as well as uh, not many people recorded it and I had to come here really, to come here and check it out in between, in between uh, and beneath the stinging nettles that belie this wonderful anti-aircraft battery. So, you know, let's be honest, we're, we're uh, quite familiar with our anti-aircraft batteries. We've done a lot, haven't we? And uh, trying to play my way a course through here underneath the stinging nettles that belie a <laughs> treasure trove of history. Oh, there we go. And we're in. The condition is absolutely spectacular and I knew it would be because it's hardly been touched. You can see the fact that this anti-aircraft gun battery would have been so vital in the protection of Swindon. Like I said, we're not that far away. And uh, it's just incredible to sort of see this, really. There's a mound, a huge mound there. And uh, as I walked across it, um, there's a bit of rubble, there's a bit of excess. But really, we do just really want to concentrate on the four pivotal, pivotal uh, anti-aircraft batteries that are here. So obviously we're in number one, number two, which we're going to try and go across number three, number four. Now, as you can see, there is a heavy amount of steam that was here and uh, I'm fully prepared in sort of getting stung um, so yeah that'll be fine but then I've got a few other places to explore today um, you can see people have tried making paths through here but it's probably the wrong time to come in terms of 
at the height of the stinging nettles, but we will we will try and make our way gingerly through today to record and document this incredible, like we said, anti-aircraft battery. So we'll just flatten down as best as possible to, like I said, gingerly walking across. There we go. So little patches of clearing. I mean, I could have easily walked around the outside, but for the purpose of today, we want to get in there. We want to interact with this history. I'm trying to look for some sort of uh, solid pathway. Looks to be one around there. So let's try and uh, go up and around, I think. Oh, this isn't ideal, but then that's okay. That's what exploring's about, isn't it? To document this. Lots of drop-ins around here. I think it looks like sheep. It's beautiful because every time you get up to the next one, a little bit of a level, you can just see how vital this would have been. I mean, it looks down this gorgeous hillside. You can't see it yet, and I will, I will desperately try and get to it for you. You can see people have been walking through here, either that or animals. Now, there you go. Number two battery. And you can see through there, I should have come back up really. So forgive me for not going totally in on this. It is like we said before, quite heavily overgrown. Might walk around actually, just to give you as much perspective as possible. There we go. However, the stinging nettles today will be proving the greatest obstacle. Let's go up behind it, I think. Nature is abundant around here and it's absolutely amazing and refreshing to see. Yeah, look at that. Right, okay. So I want to try and do, I want to try and do this one in real time. It is a heavy, Excuse me, it is a heavy anti-aircraft battery after all. If you're familiar with my channel, you've probably seen a lot. If you haven't, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for being a part of this video with me. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna sort of roll with this one today. Nothing too fancy, because literally the terrain is terrible. But we think we've done a pretty good job so far. Like I said, you know, once you've seen one, You've seen them all. Doesn't necessarily mean that that's not historically not important, however. But yeah, please understand that I'm not going <laughs> to be able to get in fully when it's that bad. But yeah, look, this is what I was talking about. It's quite a fantastic view. It puts in perspective of actually how high up we are. If you can see that. So yeah. Ooh. Might need to dry my boots off later. I've been soaked. Heavy thick dewy in the morning. Beautiful early morning that we love. And then inside. Sorry it's so dark. Wee. You got to go in there before me. How lucky are you? Here we are, number three. Again, you can see how dark and dense it is in there. I wonder if I can sneak into this one. I'll be alright in this one everybody. Oh, there we go. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? There is 
literally zero graffiti here. Zero graffiti. Which makes it so amazing as a historical documentation. Now, let's try and get a little torch so we can have a little inspection. Sorry about the ragtag nature of this video. There you go. Wow. Look at that. There we go, we've actually managed to get into one, that's good. Sorry again for the graininess of this, but uh, I'll try my best today. It's coming out okay. Sheep. <laughs> A farmer. Amazing. I just, the condition is absolutely amazing. And if you look down there, there's a concrete embedment there where possibly the gun probably would have been placed on top, right in the centre. Although it's been bricks and everything, so I think the farmers had a few goes at you know changing it a little bit for his own sort of purpose, which is totally fine. But look at this, I've, I don't think I've ever seen one this clean before. I mean, really clean. to the final one, come on. Right, okay. Whew. That was exciting. Oh, it's so beautiful out here today. Sorry for the like, lights it being overcast, it is a quite overcast day today. But have no fear, I think we're doing all right, aren't we? This is the final one. which clearly is the cleanest. How beautiful is this one? Best till last. Wow. Let's try and go around this way. Oh. Wow, there we go. That's what we need. Anti aircraft is incredible. They're still here. I wasn't, oh, to be fair, I was waiting for to see some actually. But look at this. <laughs> there we go. How beautiful. Oh, there's a sheep carcass in there, I don't think you can see that, so I'm not going to go into that one. <laughs> Where sheep go to die. Bless them. And again, I can't really get through that side, it's just too overgrown, but it's okay, because we're, we're here, we're documenting as best as possible, and... Uh, I've already taken you into one, haven't I, really? So, yeah, fantastic. Right. How brilliant, let's head out. Come on, and uh, we'll, we'll wrap up this wonderful little bit of preservation. Come on. Standing up here, you get a huge vision of this, how high we are up, actually, in a strange way, and you wouldn't believe it if you came here. But it's beautiful, you can see these four gun batteries in situ. One, two, three, and then four in there. There's some more rub rubble. But yeah, the, it's just, this whole mound is just littered with it. But that was 
That was Blunsdon's heavy anti-aircraft battery, the World War II one. I can't believe I've had the opportunity to come here to access it, to appreciate it for its beauty. It's a shame we couldn't sort of properly examine it because of how overgrown the steam nettles are, but I don't mind that. Like I've always said before, you know, if it deters a lot of people from coming here, that's fantastic. And I know some of you will complain and you'll say, well, you've just labelled this as whatever. And you understand that my channel is about historical documentation. The idea that we document this history to preserve it for others, to explore it. And to also encourage you to understand what it's like about our eroding history. And as I was sort of, sort of reminiscing as I was he heading up here was the fact that Bunsen seems to be sort of going for a huge period of uh, change. There's lots of buildings that have been built. And uh, as I was driving through today, there was roadworks, there was everything going around in this area. So, you know, maybe things like this might be forgotten about in the past and we, we need to we need to preserve it as best as possible. And hopefully I've done a good enough job for you. I've tried today. It's not been easy, but I've tried. And uh, that's the most important thing that I think we've documented. We've documented enough of it today. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's a heavy anti-aircraft battery. You've had your history lesson. You've had the importance of why its location is here. And yeah, there you go. Either way, Wiltshire is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely a beautiful county and uh, yeah, fantastic. So well worth it so far. Stick around, I'm going to do some amazing places. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, in your more words of Phoenix history, because history matters, it really does, doesn't it? Stay tuned and I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Uh, goodbye for now. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye.